Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we want to talk about how do we do the horizontal analysis, vertical analysis and trend analysis on a given company. So we already have the income statement of last 4 years of Kellogg's company and we also have the balance sheet of this company. So first we will understand how do we do the vertical analysis on income statement. So what you need to do, put in equal here, sales of 2018 divided by the sales of 2018 only. Select this, press Ctrl R. Now sales will be considered 100%. All the items of income statement will be calculated as a percentage of sales. Okay. So in the next sales what I want, I want to calculate COGS as a percentage of sales. So what do we get here? We are getting 65%, 68%, 66% and 68%. So I actually want to write one formula and drag it across all the rows and across all the columns. So what do I need to do? I need to lock this division by row only. So that when I drag the formula down, my revenue, which is the denominator in this case, remains constant and the numerator is changing. So you will understand when I will show this to you. Select this and press Ctrl D. And now Ctrl R. So with this what we have done, we have done horizontal, we have done the vertical analysis. Now what type of analysis you would like to do based on this data? You want to see every item one by one. What is the trend here? Like in this case of COGS, you have to mark it as red. Red because the expenses are actually increasing. Okay, earlier it was 65% of sales. Now it has increased to 68% of sales. So you want to see why this cost of goods sold is actually increasing. Is it because of the revenue is going down, but the company is not able to manage its expenses accordingly. So that may be the reason or revenue is increasing, but expenses are also increasing, but at a faster rate. So that may be the reason why COGS as a percentage of sales is actually increasing. So you need to get into the details into the annual report and find the reason behind it. Then we have selling general and admin expenses. So this seems little better. So it is green. Okay. So for every item which you think you would like to analyze and that has a major effect on your profitability. So as GNA and COJ, these two items are major component of the income statement for Kellogg's. So you want to analyze them. Okay. Similarly, these two items are not too big. Even if they are positive or in negative trend, you can skip them. But income before income and taxes. If you look at this, this is a positive trend. So incomes are actually increasing as a percentage of sales. So it's a, a green signal. Then income taxes, you can skip that net profit margin. It is actually increasing. So as an analyst, what you need to do something which is going green, you mark it as red and you want to think that can we do something to make it better? something which is red in your income statement you want to think can we do something to manage it to remove it or to reduce it at least is it happening only with my company or is it happening with all the companies in the sector okay so this is the kind of mindset you have as an analyst so this is what we have done in vertical analysis now in horizontal analysis what you want to do let me copy this and paste it here here I want to do horizontal analysis. So what we will do here? You want to calculate the growth rate. So equal to sales of current year that is 2019 divided by the sales of 2018 minus 1. So it will give you the growth rate but you need to convert this to percentage. Okay, so growth rate is very less, it's just 0.2%. So select this, press Ctrl R. Do this for every item in the income statement. Why I am not calculating in case of 2018, but because in case of 2018, if I want to calculate, I need the data of 2017 also. So in case of horizontal analysis, when I am calculating 
growth rate across the years i cannot calculate growth rate in the very first year in the history okay so now you also want to calculate the exact amount by which it is increasing or decreasing so this minus this control r control d so this is what we have done horizontal analysis and again you want to analyze things okay you want to analyze what has changed has it changed for better or something very bad or some negative trend is going in the company so this is what you want to analyze now let's focus our discussion on trend analysis so when you want to do the trend analysis you will be keeping one year in history as base year and then you want to see the growth rate of every item going forward so let me just show you how do you do the trend analysis so let me do it for revenue first so equal to net sales of current year divided by the net sales of the same year now for the next year what i will do equal to net sales of 2019 divided by the net sales of 2018 but this net sales of 2018 will be locked by column enter now control r so with this what we can see that in 2018 and 19 there was hardly any difference in terms of sales but in 2020 there is a growth rate of 2% in 2021 there is a growth rate of 5% now what i want to do i want to drag this formula down so with this we will be able to see the growth rate or trends across every item in this video we only have calculated vertical analysis we have prepared horizontal analysis and we also prepared trend analysis but doing these calculations make no difference you need to interpret them this much of knowledge what we have done so far will help you to get into a good company because this much knowledge is also not available with many people but you know this much now when you join some company you may be given the task of making some meaningful interpretation mm -hmm. from the income statement or balance sheet of this company okay so how you will start i am giving you a perspective of doing the analysis so what you will do you will start with let's say vertical analysis from the vertical analysis you will find which items are major items in the income statement which items you should focus to analyze so in this case which items you should analyze definitely cogs and sgna and net sales why because these items are forming the major component in your income statement because interest expense other expenses taxes earnings minority interest or dividend they are not forming the major component of your income statement so you should be focusing only on net sales cogs and sgna now this item which is actually going green it may not be actually green because other companies which are competitors or the industry average you are not at par with them they are making they are doing better in terms of sgna and in this case which this which is red cogs which is red this may actually not be red it may be even green in which sense i am saying that because other companies other competitors which report cogs they are not even performing that much as much as you are doing so something which is actually red may not be red and something which is green may not be green okay so you this is just a starting point ratio analysis in itself does not tell you much it tells you only when you do the comparison comparison with some industry average or your some competitor or some another benchmark comparison has to be made when you actually want to make some meaningful interpretation so with this analysis this is a red item and this is a green item so after vertical analysis you can move on to horizontal analysis 
and here you will see that net sales is actually increasing by a small percentage so it is increasing it shows that it is a green item but it may not be actually green because the industry average is greener meaning they the industry average has more growth rate than your own company as gna which is actually going down it's a positive sign it's again green because selling general and admin expenses are going down over a period of time so expenses when they go down it's a positive sign but if you make a comparison with industry average or some competitor then indirect expenses in those companies are going more down then your own company is reducing your selling general admin expenses i hope you are getting my point so something that you find green in your company may not be actually green because other companies are showing more improvement in that particular item okay so let's interpret this company itself so revenue is positive you need to compare it with the growth rate of industry average then you will actually find whether the growth rate of your company is sufficient enough or you need to do something to improve it cogs is definitely showing red trend because cogs in this case is not really showing us a good trend in this case cogs is increasing more than the revenue is increasing in this case revenue is growing but cogs has decreased in this case revenue increased but cogs cogs has increased more than the revenue so cogs is not giving us a clear indication what is going to happen with the company going forward so you want to make a comparison so right now we do not have any compared competitor or some industry average so another benchmark which you can use your own history historical performance so in this case when you do the trend analysis this base year is your benchmark you are comparing yourself with your own history so comparing your income statement with 2018 it says that in around 5 years the revenue has increased only 5% but cogs has increased by 9% and sgna is actually decreasing so this is one benchmark you should also compare this with some industry average now closing argument about the income statement of this kellogg's company or closing our argument about analysis vertical analysis horizontal analysis trend analysis they give you some kind of information to really make some meaningful interpretation you need to compare with industry average some competitor some another benchmark okay every analyst will find a different interpretation two analyst may not have the same interpretation out of the same income statement i want to look at from a different perspective you are looking at something from a different perspective a growth rate of 2% may be sufficient for me and 5% of growth rate may not be sufficient for someone else so what you should try to understand from my videos ratio analysis video series first you need to understand how to calculate a particular ratio how to interpret a particular ratio the formula the definition the calculation these are the some few things you should try to understand analyst will have a different perspective based on that the analyst will make interpretation okay i think i am able to convey my point to you now going forward we will also to look at liquidity ratio solvency ratio solvency ratio profitability ratio business risk financial risk valuation ratio and there are many more things that we are going to look at okay the learning which you sh which you should try to focus is formula definition calculation basic level of interpretation again whatever you are going to interpret may not be the right interpretation unless you make a comparison even after comparison you may find something good the other analyst may not find the same thing good enough 
because I think 2% of growth rate is okay but someone else even may not be okay at 5% of growth rate okay if you have got my point please let me know in my whatsapp that if I have been able to convey my point thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video where we will talk about liquidity ratio thanks